Hi, welcome and thanks for choosing this video course. In this video, we're going to talk about how to price your product or service. A business might set or adjust prices when they start up when introducing a new product or service to achieve a new business objective or in response to changes in the marketplace or the general economic climate. Whatever the occasion, setting prices for your products or services is possibly one of the most important business decisions you make. It does have a considerable impact on your profitability and thus can be a decisive factor in the financial success or failure of your business. Determining a pricing strategy should not be carried out in isolation but in relation to your evolving business strategy. You need to be clear about what your pricing objectives are, how they relate to your general business objectives, and how they tie in with your marketing and sales plans. There are many different approaches to pricing, but the two most common are cost plus pricing, value-based pricing. In this section, I'm going to talk about the cost plus pricing. This takes the most cost of producing your product or service and adds an amount that you need to make as a profit. This is usually expressed as a percentage of the cost. It is generally more suitable to businesses that deal with large volumes or which operate in markets dominated by competition on price. It is important to be aware of the effect any price change will have on variable costs and factor this into your calculations. Care must also be taken not to overlook hidden costs and inadvertently overestimate potential profit per sale. This approach also disregards potentially important factors such as business or brand reputation, market positioning, and the value of the product or service to the customer or client. Indeed, setting prices based just on cost can result in selling a product or service at less than the customer or client is willing to pay, thereby failing to maximize potential revenue. With value-based pricing, you focus principally on assessing what the product or service is worth to the customer or client and set the price accordingly. The aim is to avoid charging too little and so missing out on potential revenue while not setting the price higher than the customer or client is willing to pay. The key is to identify the benefits you offer the customer and ensure they understand and appreciate them. If you have clearly defined benefits that give you an advantage over your competitors, you can charge according to the value you offer customers. While this approach can prove very profitable, it can alienate potential customers who are driven only by price and can also draw in new competitors. In a competitive environment, it is especially important to differentiate your product or service by demonstrating unique features and benefits wherever possible. The more you can enhance the exclusivity of your product or service or demonstrate genuine added value that your competitors do not offer, the more you will stand out in the marketplace and the easier it will be for you to command higher prices. Understanding your competition will take some research. You need to understand what you are selling, the types of companies you compete with, the amount and types of substitutes, and how companies operate in your industry. Use the following questions to learn more about your competition. How many competitors operate in my market? Are my competitors larger or smaller than me? Are my competitors close by or far away? Does my industry have barriers to entry such as legislation, extremely expensive or specialized capital equipment or unique ingredients? Is it difficult for new competitors to enter the industry? What types and numbers of products do my competitors sell? What pricing method or methods do my competitors use? It may even be worthwhile to compare a head-to-head -head comparison of the price of your product or products to your competitor's product or products. The key here is to compare net prices, not just the list or published price. This information could come from phone calls, secret shopping, published data, etc. Make notes during this process about how your company and products and the competition are perceived by the market. Be brutally honest in your evaluation. A fundamental tenet of pricing is that you need to cover your costs and then factor in a profit. That means you have to know how much your product costs. You also have to understand how much you need to mark up the product and how many you need to sell to turn a profit. Remember that the cost of a product is more than the literal cost of the item. It also includes overhead costs. Overhead costs may include fixed costs like rent and variable costs, like shipping or stocking fees. 
you must include these costs in your estimate of the real cost of your product. Many businesses either don't factor in all their costs and underprice or literally factor in all their costs and then expect to make a profit with one product and therefore overcharge. A good rule of thumb is to make a spreadsheet of all the costs you need to cover every month, which might include the following. Your actual product costs, including labor and the costs of marketing and selling those products. All of the operating expenses necessary to own and operate the business. The costs associated with borrowing money, debt service costs. Your salary as the owner and or manager of the business. A return on the capital you and any other owners or shareholders have invested. Capital for future expansion and replacement of fixed assets as they age. Now let's continue to the remaining factors. Undertaking some sort of market research is essential to getting to know your customer, Willette says. This type of research can range from informal surveys of your existing customer base that you send out in emails along with promotions to the more extensive and potentially expensive research projects undertaken by third-party consulting firms. Market research firms can explore your market and segment your potential customers very granularly by demographics, by what they buy, by whether they are price sensitive, etc. If you don't have a few thousand dollars to spend on market research, you might just look at consumers in terms of a few distinct groups, the budget sensitive, the convenience centered, and those for whom status makes a difference. Then figure out which segment you're targeting and price accordingly. Clearly, you can't be a soothsayer, but you can keep track of outside factors that will impact the demand for your product in the future. These factors can range from something as simple as long-term weather patterns to laws that may impact future sales of your products. Also take into account your competitors and their actions. Another key component to pricing your product right is to continuously monitor your prices and your underlying profitability on a monthly basis. It's not enough to look at overall profitability of your company every month. You have to focus on profitability or lack of profitability of every product you sell. You have to make absolutely sure you know the degree to which every product you sell is contributing to your goal of making money each month. Remember, people respect what you inspect. Here are some other practices to help you price right. Listen to your customers. Try to do this on a regular basis by getting feedback from customers about your pricing. Let them know you care about what they think. Keep an eye on your competitors. If you don't have deep pockets and can't afford to hire a market research team, hire some college students to go out on a regular basis and monitor what your competitors are doing. Have a budget action plan in place. Try to have a plan for your pricing that extends out three to six months in the future. You owe it to yourself and to your business to be relentless in managing your product pricing. Remember, how you set the price of the products could be the difference between the success and failure of your business. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.